What If Season 2, Episode 8, Thoughts. This episode is called What If the Avengers Assembled in 1602. Another episode I love, like almost everything MCU. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. And let's dive right in. So, yeah, um, if... According to this episode, if Loki was not vying for the throne, he would be an actor. And I love, like, Tom Hiddleston hamming it up in the in the ADR booth is just, it's, it's glorious and purposeful. And let's see. Yeah, so Hela goes through the rift. And it's very clear that, yeah, this is, you know, this is obviously quite terrifying for the people of the this part of the multiverse that we're seeing. I like that apparently at least some of the time Peggy can hear him. You know, I can hear you. And, yeah, we're told about various places that are, are gone. I, I don't remember exactly what they said. There was one with Nebula. The second one was the Isle of Ego, like the planet, you know, Ego, the living planet. And Groot apparently made wine, which, wow. And, yeah, um, there is a Tony Stark in this universe. He is a drunk, he is an inventor, and he loves future words and and you know Peggy in addition you know first she says radioactive and he's like wow tell me more flux capacitor you know just yeah that was that was quite fun so so yeah she has indeed been catching up on some 80s classics what was it Saturday nights as Oh, I just got that. Natasha was calling her up. So, so you don't go on dates, but you do sit at home watching movies that came out 30 years ago. Okay, it's good to know. And, <laughs> okay, so I don't know the play. I, I only have heard a little bit. I, I don't know that much about Shakespeare, but I'm pretty sure Loki is completely lying when he says that Iago, that the play is about Iago. I'm almost certain that's not even remotely. But that is the character that he would gravitate towards. You know, the the the, the riff track for the first Thor movie refers to Loki as Iago when he, you know, walks out from behind the, the column to manipulate Thor. So, yeah. Rogers Hood. I didn't know I needed Steve Rogers as Robin Hood, but I appreciate that you know th yeah, they the, the people behind what if just knew. Somehow they knew the world needs Steve Rogers as Robin Hood. Scott Lang goes nuts over Marzipan. I knew there was something I liked about that guy. Seriously, if you've never tried Marzipan, you are missing out. It is amazing. And <laughs> like the line about specialty, mm, I don't think I will. So yeah, that you know, in in Endgame, that was Steve saying that about Peggy, and then yeah, here it's it's Peggy. Yeah, Royal Yellow Jackets. Amazing. And apparently Hogan's gun fires Royal Yellow Jackets. Some great stuff with Peggy's shield being thrown back and forth. And I'd like to point out that a court, like apparently in various parts, this, this is twice now, so, you know, at least two different universes. In the multiverse, have Happy Hogan, Sir Harold the Happy Hogan, as a Hulk. I I can't help but wonder if they are like you know John Favreau is still in the MCU technically. Maybe he is going to 
Hulk out in one of the you know live action movies or something. And let's see, yeah, and the Destroyer Ascent. I love that they managed to. Honestly, that one they didn't need to do a huge amount. It they, it already kind of looks like armor, an, a, a suit of armor from back then. And yeah, so Peggy gets thrown in a cell, and Uatu tells her, you know, some worlds are just destined to die. And I love that she's like, okay, if you're not going to help me, get out of my way. And... Yeah, and, and she finds the cell with the... Did she, did she say the monster in the iron mask? And it, of course, turns out to be Bruce Banner's Hulk. And, yeah, she manages to, to get him, you know, really freaked out by all the, the bullets. So, so yeah, you know, various different multi universes across the multiverse. Bruce Banner is okay with just being himself. He's trying to not become Hulk. And people keep dragging him back in. What's the signal? Signal, signal, signal. I guess he's the signal. And I like that apparently Thor, intending for him to use it in battle, gave Loki a hammer. And he has misplaced it. And he got... He's... He has a vibranium sword from the Wakandan king, and he named it the All Father. Wow. And <laughs> Peggy says, "You're almost you're an even bigger drama queen than your brother is." And and Loki does that, you know, kind of gay coded hand movement. I don't think it's for me to say if that's like disrespectful or not. I'm, I'm, you know, there are, you know, LGBTQ plus YouTubers who watch and do videos on these MCU shows. So I'll, yeah. And let's see, I, yeah. If you know, maybe one of them will will talk about it. Very cool to see some Hulk on Hulk action. It's been a minute and. I love the the stream of like you know Hogan is saying poppycock and and you know all these like old timey words and yeah we learn that Steve Rogers is the future man so Peggy has to to take out Steve Rogers like I don't I don't know what Peggy and or Steve have done to the the people writing this show to deserve this kind of like just my god let them be happy for what I, you know, I suppose yeah honestly this would be just completely absurd if not for the fact that they did get their happy ending once you know and they also say you know I'm sure we have a happy ending somewhere you know Endgame did allow them that finally and we close on Strange Supreme approaching Peggy and saying, I've have I got a story to tell. So yeah, very excited to see. Cause the next episode is What If Strange Supreme Intervened? Coming out tomorrow. So yeah, really looking forward to seeing what is is going because we already know that he talked to Kihori either before or after this scene so yeah all right let's see there's some IMDb trivia oh uh, Doctor Who apparently did a similar idea um, time periods mashing together threatening the collapse of its universe and see. Um.
Okay, some of these are pretty nonsensical. Apology for the for the dead air, but some of this just Yeah. Um yeah, those were those were the the ones that Yeah. Um so tomorrow I will cover the season two finale and yeah I gotta say this episode absolutely delivered on everything everything I hoped that th would be in a 1602 you know Marvel thing episode of what if and so much more <laughs>